Hi, and welcome back to Wig Studio One. I'm Eileen. Okay, today, this is going to be a really short, just demonstration of how I use my hot air brush on synthetic hair. One of the most, most asked questions I personally get is, can you use heat on synthetic fibers? Now, the answer to that is yes. However, there's a big however there. You have to, I would never use a curling iron on a synthetic piece, that gets too hot. The only R flat iron I would not use. This is just my personal opinion. This is just how I do this. So please keep that in mind. This is just my personal opinion. I only use a hot air brush on my synthetic pieces. It doesn't, and I don't really use it that often on heat friendly the reason being this doesn't get hot enough now i have used this on some heat friendly styles my upstage from raquel welch sometimes if i just want to do a touch up on the ends of it i will use this on the very ends but if i'm really needing to smooth those ends really well on a on a heat friendly style i will at that time use a curling iron that's just my preference on heat friendly because it does get a little hotter and those fibers can take that these fibers however cannot i am wearing my noriko claire and the color is creamy toffee rooted as you can see the bangs it's been in the box a while the bangs need a little help and this is my go-to for my bangs now this is from week studio one it will be linked below this is their hot tools it is a one and a half inch professional hot air brush and like I said it'll be linked below so that's what I'm going to use now you could put this on a blockhead and you could uh, pin it to a blockhead and do it that way I used to do it that way in the beginning when I was new to wigs however I don't do that anymore I just do it style it right on my head I'm going to show you how I do that but if you're uncomfortable with that you can put this on your blockhead and do the same thing there Okay, so I'm going to turn this on. It's going to be a little loud, but I just kind of want to show you how I control my bangs because y'all know these bangs do tend to get a little box hair after they've been in the box for a while or when you first take them out. Sometimes they really need a little work. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. Always, always keep this brush moving. Don't let it sit on the fibers. Keep it moving. You can do as much as little as you want. I'm just always, and you can see already how that helps. That just gives them a little curl under. If that is the look you like, you're going for. It's really easy to achieve with this hot air brush. Just like that. And then I usually just separate them a little, mess them up just a little bit. And that is basically how I do that. Easy to do. You can also use this on synthetics if you want to. Now this is not going to put a curl into your hair. So know that. But it's just a way to smooth the ends up or under. I happen to like this with flippy ends. So it already has those. But I can use this just to freshen those ends up. Flip them up just a little. Or under, like I said, if that is the look you're going for. As I said, this doesn't get hot. It's not going to hurt it. However, you do want to always keep this moving. It's just that easy. Okay, let's do a couple more. I have my Alva. So we can do the same thing with Alva. Uh, this wig grip I'm wearing is the Wig Studio One wig grip. We'll also link that below if you uh, are interested in that. I love it. It's the one that has the smaller elastic back. That's the kind, that only kind I wear that works the best for me. Okay, here is my Noriko Alva in Creamy Toffee Rooted. And let's work on its bangs a little bit. They can use them, as you can see. You see, now, it's been sitting in the box a while, and you see these bangs. Yeah, they need a little work. So, going to do that. Again, you see, I'm just keeping this moving. 
going from piece to piece. These are long, these things are long. I have not trimmed them on this one. I have some that I have trimmed, but I have several of these wigs. And this one, I have not trimmed the bangs yet. But you can see, that just takes them right under. I'm gonna smooth the ends here. I'm gonna pull these under just a little, just the way I like it. Super easy to do. And you can just freshen them up. This is a great way just to freshen up your synthetics for when they come out of the box. If they are crimped a little bit from sitting there, just run your hot air brush through it. And it's just a good way, good way to freshen them up. Again, I always just mess my bangs up a little. And you're ready to go. All right, one more. So, let's see. Oh, I have my Scorpio. This is Scorpio PM. And its color is Champagne Blush. Again, bangs. So I've showed you three different styles here with bangs. Definitely need some work on these bangs. <laughs> they have been in the box. A little bit and let's see if we can fix them now I have trimmed the bangs on this wig so you know that and just smoothing the sides Keeping it always, always moving. Taking the bangs just a little bit at a time. And that is that. It's pretty easy. And it really does make a lot of difference in these wigs that have bangs. So again, use these, use this tool on your synthetic fibers. Be careful. Keep this brush moving, and it is a great way to to really freshen up your synthetics. Thanks so much for watching today. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and join us in our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. I'll see you next time.